Happy holidays, homemakers! I'm Melinda, and I'm cooking my way through Betty Crocker's 1971 recipe card library. And today we're making a party cheese ball. All right, party cheese ball is from section L, gifts from your kitchen, and it's card number eight. And I thought this would be a fun card to do this time of year. Hopefully we're starting to go to uh, more gatherings or parties. And what's more perfect for a party than a party cheese ball? <laughs> I remember having these when I was growing up at parties. It's basically cream cheese and other stuff mixed together. And as the name indicates, it's formed into a ball. And then you use crackers to like dip into the cheese ball <laughs> and eat it. So yeah, I think it's really fun and festive. Betty has a few different ways for us to decorate the cheese ball on this card, but I'm gonna focus on the way it looks kind of in the forefront here, which is kind of Christmassy decorations. It looks like there's a star, a Christmas tree, a poinsettia. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna try to recreate that as best as possible. We'll see how I do. <laughs> but either way, I think it's gonna be fun and festive and cute. So let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at the ingredients. For party cheese ball, we are gonna need, of course, two packages of cream cheese. <laughs> we'll need uh, some blue cheese and some cheddar cheese as well. Then we will need a minced onion and some Worcestershire sauce. Then to decorate, we're gonna need some green bell peppers, some roasted pimento and cocktail onions, and then to dip, I have two types of crackers. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first step is to just mince a quarter cup of onion. I was wondering whether or not I should use a real onion or just like onion powder. I feel like real bites of onion might be kind of strong in this cheese ball, but we are gonna refrigerate it for a while, so maybe that will help mellow the onion. I'm gonna just try to chop it like as thinly and tiny as, tiny? <laughs> as thin and tiny as I can, I guess is what I was trying to say. Um, I'm just gonna go really small with my dice and hope for the best. I'm not good at cutting things small. I will say that's a quarter cup. Let me just like run my knife through it again. Oh, I'm gonna start to cry. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the tears. <laughs> okay, so then the other prep work I wanna do for this is to grate our cheddar cheese. And I made a point <laughs> to buy a real block of cheddar cheese instead of the pre-shredded cheese because I've complained every single time that it calls for shredded cheddar cheese. I use shredded cheddar cheese. Then it doesn't mix well. I'm talking about the party sandwich loaf. I'm talking about the cheeseburger pie. I feel like it happened a third time, but I'm not gonna let it happen anymore. One of my lovely viewers commented that the reason <laughs> The shredded cheddar cheese doesn't mix well because it has cornstarch on it to keep it shredded. And so I feel like if I use a block of cheese, it will mix in more with the mixture. So that's what I'm doing. Shredding cheese. Let me use the finest shred here. There's our cheese ball. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Okay, this whole thing was eight ounces. Do we think I did half? I don't think I've done half yet. Keep going, keep going. Okay, it's time to mix our ingredients together. So I have two packages of cream cheese that are already quite soft. They've been sitting out for maybe an hour, I'm trying to get soft. Whoa! Good. I knew that was gonna land face down and make a mess. Okay, second one. Goodbye. Okay, so we have two things of cream cheese, nice and soft. Now I'm gonna add, so it called for four ounces of blue cheese. This little thing I got is three ounces, but honestly blue cheese is really strong to me and I don't wanna go overboard, so. I might add maybe not even the whole three ounces. I think you should do what you think will taste good. So if 
I'm not feeling all the blue, I'm not gonna feel all the blue. And then the cheddar, which it's supposed to be four ounces of cheddar. <laughs> but I think this is closer to five. Maybe that will make up for the blue cheese I'm taking out. Okay, now we add a quarter cup of finely minced onion. And this is a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now, I use Worcestershire combined with the cheddar cheese for the party sandwich loaf, and I was obsessed with this flavor combination, so I'm excited to see it present again in the party cheese ball. <laughs> Now, I'm supposed to beat it with the mixing thing, mixing thing, beaters, hand mixer, but I'm just gonna do a quick kind of, I'm gonna combine it a little bit just with the spatula so it doesn't fly everywhere when I beat it. Also, I don't know how you're supposed to beat <laughs> cheese. This will be interesting. <laughs> Let's beat this. <laughs> ah! Pretty light and fluffy, I, th I think. It seems well combined. I mean, there's a lot in the beaters. All right, our cheese mixture has been chilling in the fridge for three hours, and I thought it would be good for the next step to be to form the ball. We could put it back in the fridge, but I wanna see how big the ball is so I know how many decorations to make and how big the decorations should be. So I think <laughs> I think I'm just gonna take it out with my hands and turn it into a ball. What does Betty say to do? Shape mixture into one large ball. Okay, I have clean hands. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll still get it out with the spatula. Okay, I'm gonna try to get it out or get it ball-like. This is a lot. This is gonna make a huge ball. This is a way bigger ball than I thought it would be. Are you kidding me? Did I make too much? <sighs> okay. <laughs> now, this is the tray I wanna use to serve it on. I thought I could put it in the center and put crackers all around. So I'm just gonna put it there. <laughs> okay, I'm obsessed. Is it, is it ball-like enough? <laughs> okay, this is good for me to see. Okay, so like the trees need to be like two or three inches needs to be about six inches. I have a plan. Okay, for the decorations, this is what I'm thinking. We need a star for the top. We need approximately 12, like kind of four-sided diamond -y stars to go with the cocktail onions. Then we need long strips of pimento, about four of them to go across the ball. And then I need somewhere around like this has seven petals, so let's say like 14 or so petals and two Christmas trees and the inner petal and the top of the tree. So we, <laughs> we have a lot of stuff to make. This is what I'm working with. I have the sharpest knife that I own. I have this fluted pastry reel, which I use to make um, ravioli, but we're gonna use to try to like flute the edge of that long strip of pimento. And then I have this small circle cutter I'll try to make something out of. <laughs> um, okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I have these bell peppers and I wanna try to just get like the flattest surfaces I can for the um, Christmas tree. So like, I think I'm gonna try to, I'll try to cut it in a place that seems like I wouldn't need that whole piece. And then I'm gonna cut, let me see, I'll cut like this. I'm making this up as I go. I'm wondering if I should have like, it doesn't say what to, how to do this at all. Um, so I was wondering if I should have like blanched these or something to make them more pliable because the pimentos are gonna be way more pliable, but I think I'll do the Christmas trees first because we need like, we just need to find really nice big, so like I think I can cut a Christmas tree from here and then I need another one maybe here. I don't know how you're gonna eat this. <laughs> Like, is someone just gonna like take a cracker and like scrape off the whole Christmas tree and eat it? I don't know. <laughs> this is more for looks than uh, than anything else. I like haven't, it's like, you don't know what a drawing of a Christmas tree, like you used to draw Christmas trees when you were a child. 
I did at least. It's like, I haven't done that in so long, I forget what the vibe is. But yeah, it's like, you cut zigzags out of it. And I don't wanna go too deep towards the center because I don't want it to break when I go to zigzag the other side. <laughs> it's a Christmas tree. <laughs> um, the bottom looks kind of stupid, but that's, that's what I wanted. That's what I was going for. Okay, <laughs> now I just have to do it again. Okay, so um, we have our two trees and I cut out a star for the top and I made 12 of these kind of olive or onion star picks for the bottom. And now we're gonna work on the red elements. So I'm just gonna pull out some of these um, whole pimentos. They're really soft, so I have to be like kind of delicate to make sure that they don't rip. I wanna find the best candidate to be the long strips. Oh my God, this is just like a whole pepper in here. I don't know if we're gonna find a best candidate. <laughs> Yeah, because there's just a whole pepper. There's just like literally three peppers in here. That's what this jar is. <laughs> Let me um, wash off the burnt parts. Be right back. Will we be able to get four strips? <laughs> I guess they only have to be six inches long. So maybe just two long strips that I, okay. You can't even really see the fluted nature of it, but <laughs> ta-da. Yeah, this is what I figured. Like we might have to lay it on in segments, but I'll just make as many strips as I can. I'm wondering if I can cut a circle and somehow get petals out of it. Let me try that. Like half wouldn't get you petals. I guess you could do, then do that. Oh my God, that's a petal. It just seems kind of wasteful. See, I got three petals out of that. Maybe I'm trying to do two six petal poinsettias. Okay, so I have <laughs> the little petals and I cut out, I couldn't do like circles for the center. I was like struggling. So I just cut squares for the center. I cut squares for the top of the Christmas tree. So I think I have everything I need. I'm just gonna get cleaned up and then we will start to decorate. <laughs> now it's time to decorate. I think I'm gonna start with the strips because I want to kind of do everything in quadrants and this will kind of help me know where the quadrants are. <laughs> and I don't know, like, do I press in? <laughs> now we'll go like that. Okay. Whatever side looks the worst is gonna be the back, <laughs> which is probably where it's gonna be a seam here. <laughs> See, that's the back. Although there's kind of a divot in the front here. We're continuing onwards. It's like a present. It's wrapped like a present. Okay, now I'm gonna put the star in the top. We love. <laughs> now I'm gonna put my better tree to get it to stay. Ta-da! <laughs> and then the other tree goes on the back. His little topper. And then the other two sides are for the, um, what are they called? Poinsettias. But I think I'll do the bottom things first. So there's three per side. I'm trying to like, I don't know, pick the best, the worst ones. <laughs> Why are you slanting? Is the whole ball gonna fall over? I hate that. I hate that, you ball. Okay. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. <laughs> Push them in. But they're kind of like leaking their fluid. <laughs> That's a gross way to put it. They're pickled. And the pickle juice is kind of interacting with the cheese in a way I don't like. Let me fit six. Okay, fine, we're only doing six petals. Okay, we're done. We did it. Oh my gosh. It's cute. I got two kinds of crackers. I wanted a stable enough cracker that you can really get like give it a dip, you know? You don't want 
the cracker to break. So I got these pita bite crackers. And then I also, and then I wanted like a darker cracker. So I found this cranberry and pumpkin tea cracker. I thought that would be good for this time of year. Okay. Ooh, do I alternate one and then the other? That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start laying these out, alternating. Oh my God. <laughs> Also, I'm realizing this is a gift from your kitchen, which you're supposed to bring to a party. But how would you like transport with this? Like, how do you, how do I move this to another location? Am I supposed to have done all this assembly at my friend's house? <laughs> is this something you can like wrap up and, and then like put together again? I don't know, it doesn't really make sense to me. Okay, done. All right, let's dig in to our party cheese ball. <laughs> like I said, I think it's kind of like weird to have all these big pieces of vegetable to like dig through, but I guess I'm just gonna go for it and just get some cheese. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> the Worcestershire. And the onion just has the right, like puts the right amount of flavor in there. And it's creamy. Oh, and the blue cheese. It's like just the right amount of flavor. It's creamy, it's delicious. Let me try it with the um, other cracker. I guess I can like grab part of a pimento or something here. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, the, the um, cranberry cracker was good because it was a little sweeter. So the sweetness and the cheese really played well together. Oh my God, it's so good. Party cheese ball was so easy, so fun. I say easy, but it was a lot of effort to cut up all the vegetables. I understand that, but it was fun. Like it was like a craft project and a snack, which in my opinion is like one of the things that like makes cooking enjoyable for me is like, working on the presentation and like, you know, the thing, like it's not, it's about the journey, not the destination. So like I had a lot of fun cutting up these vegetables. So it didn't seem like work to me. It didn't seem like effort. Um, so yeah, it turned out really cute. It tastes great. It's just kind of a few simple ingredients. And like, I didn't have to like dirty a bunch of bowls and stuff. Like, I don't know, it just felt really simple and easy and very appealing for <laughs> a party. Um, I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna give Party Cheese Ball five out of five red spoons. Okay, back in the box. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and have a happy holiday season. Enjoy any parties you're going to, have tons of fun, eat tons of great food, um, and I'll see you next time. Happy homemaking. <laughs>